Just a little hardcore. Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I'm finishing up my small bathroom remodel this week with this lighted inset cabinet. Super minimal construction on this box, just glue and screws. I'll use my shelf pin jig to help me drill holes for the adjustable shelves. I'm gonna use this cheap, ugly scrap of plywood for the back since none of it's gonna be visible. And there's your basic box. Can't get any more basic than that. Yes sir, that's pretty basic. Four sides and a back, glue and screws. Why overcomplicate things, am I right? I saved this scrap of mirror from the demolition and I busted it off the wall in that bathroom. I may or may not be able to cut this accurately. Oops. Maybe this level won't slip. Seems to be a good score. This always makes me nervous. Hey, there it goes. Yay! Let's see if that fits. Yeah! I'm gonna use solid lumber instead of plywood for the face frame so that the edges look a little nicer when I paint them. I'm ripping this a little wider than I need it for now. I'll laminate these aluminum strips to the boards using contact cement. You put contact cement on both surfaces and let it dry before you stick them together. You only get one shot at this, so once it's down, you can't move it around. Now I can cut these face frames down to their final sizes. I'm gonna join these frame pieces together using pocket screws. I'll sand the aluminum down to remove any scratches. And after painting the edges, I can polish up the aluminum. I just happened to think the little bit of this back inside edge will show because of the mirror inside the cabinet. So I need to paint that too. I'll hold this mirror into place with a few spots of epoxy. Okay, now I can drop the frame into place also using epoxy. So what I'm doing is I've got an overhang on the two sides and the top and the bottom is flush. The way the old cabinet was in here was not very good. The frame of it touched the top of the light switch plate, making it kind of hard to use. The new cabinet is gonna come to the same height, but I want it lifted up a little bit so it doesn't interfere with that light switch. So I just made this little platform that's gonna sit in here. My hardware store sells these little squares of drywall, so I'm gonna see if I can patch this area and then this spot here that's busted out. Drywalling is not one of my strong skills, but I think this will work. We discovered the miracle of patching drywall is this wall texture stuff you spray on and gives it that bumpy look. This is called orange peel. Once you spray that on, it really helps disguise it once you paint it. Well, I hope this paint blends with the existing paint because I don't have enough of this to paint the entire wall. I've got the power shut off. I'm gonna to try to run this wire through this hole that I've drilled in the top of the cabinet while hopefully getting it set in here.
This wall is just so not straight. This is an LED strip light. Okay, I put the fuse back in and let's see if this works. Whoops, turn it on here. Ooh. <laughs> I have these glass shelves cut at a local glass shop. The lip on the front frame of the cabinet will keep them from sliding out. Hey everybody, it's that time again to talk to you about the sponsor of this week's episode, Audible. By the way, I wanted to show you really quick that I'm not just a spokesperson, but a huge fan of the service. These are the actual books I've downloaded and own. This month, I wanted to recommend American Gods, the 10th anniversary edition. This is a challenging story where the classic gods of myth appear for a showdown against the modern American gods, such as television. It's really a bizarre road trip story and a long psychedelic odyssey. In some ways it reminded me of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. By the way, American Gods is being made into a mini series by the same team that made Hannibal. So if you got hooked on that amazing show, American Gods should be awesome. Don't forget you can download this or any of over 180,000 audiobooks free by going to audible.com slash woodworking. And this concludes the major projects for this small bathroom makeover. Hope you've enjoyed this series. Please check out all the videos in the playlist. When I have some free time in the next couple of months, I'll shoot a tour of our bathroom makeover so you can see all the changes we made to it. If you have any questions about this project, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll answer some of those early next week on more minutes. If you're new to this channel, I post new videos every Friday and I'd love to have you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.